So fake news, also known as junk news or hoax news,、mm. is a type of yellow journalism or propaganda that consists of deliberate disinformation spread via traditional news media or online social media. During the second and third centuries AD, false rumors were spread about Christians claiming that they engaged in ritual cannibalism and incest. During the 2019 Hong Kong anti extradition bill protest, The Chinese government has been accused for using fake news to spread misinformation regarding the protest. And Saudi Arabia's state owned television spread fake news about Canada, <laughs> saying Canada is the worst country in the world for women with the highest suicide rate, treating its indigenous people the way Myanmar treats the Rohingya, a Muslim minority massacred and driven out of Myanmar. Today, I'm going to talk about fake news spread throughout the Korean history, ranging from the Three Kingdoms period. Samgukshite to the Joseon Dynasty. King Mu, Mu Wang of Baekje was called Sodong in his childhood. And according to Samguk Yusa, the Chronicles of the Three Kingdoms, King Mu had a crush on the third daughter of King Jin Pyeong of Silla.、Right. And King Mu made a song named Sodong Yo and made kids sing it over and over again. The song said Sodong or King Mu of Baekje and Princess Sonwa of Silla were in love and secretly met each other late at night. It was definitely fake news. However, this false news was spread here and there, which led King Jin Pyeong of Silla to decide to kick his daughter out of the palace, and Princess was later married to King Mu. And there was a person named Kim Yu Shin who was a general in Silla. Just for information, Kim Yu Shin led a unification of the Korean peninsula Munmu of Silla. Some historical records, such as Samguk Sagi and Silla Bongi, said that Silla was in a state of chaos, unrest, And a people because a woman like Queen s u n d o k was enthroned. Some people from the ruling class did not want a woman to rule the country, and they even rose and rebelled against the queen, I mean against Queen s u n d o k It was a rebellion instigated by Pidam and Yeomjong, also called Pidam, Yeomjong, and An in Korean, during the 16th reign of Queen s u n d o k in 647. According to the Sangguk Sagi, it says a huge star fell from the sky and landed at w o l s u n g where the queen lived. And Pida, one of those who instigated the rebellion against the queen, said, It is a bad omen, which would cause bloodshed in the country, which made the soldiers cry in fear, and the queen agitated and worried. He told the queen not to worry about it at all, and blamed Pida and y e o m j o n g who instigated the rebellion against the queen, and he came up with a brilliant plan. He made a scarecrow, set it on fire, and put it on a huge flying kite, which looked like flying to the sky. And then next day, he made some people to spread news that the fallen star flew back to the sky. Believe it or not, it worked. The so called fake news totally affected the morale of Pidam, y e o m j o n g and their soldiers, which helped Kim Yushin quell the rebellion. Okay, now I'll move on to Joseon. This story is from Joseon Wangjo Shilok, the annals of the Joseon dynasty. In 1519, during the 14th year of King j u n g j o n g s reign, Lady Hee Bin Hong, who was the king's royal concubine, told the king that she found a bizarre leaf. Well, as soon as the king saw the leaf, he was shocked because what the bug nod seemed to look like Chu Cho Wi Wang in Hanja, Chinese characters, meaning Chu Cho will be a king. And if you combine Chu and Cho, as in Chu Cho Wi Wang, it becomes Cho, which means someone's surname Cho will be a king. At the time, many people thought Cho referred to the man named Cho Gang Jo. A young prominent politician favored by the king. Shortly after this event, a rumor was spread saying Cho Gwangjo was trying to be a king. But actually, it was a setup, an attempt to frame Cho Gwangjo and others. Cho Gwangjo was framed with charges of factionalism by the power elite that opposed his reform measures and sent into exile, Yubei. Later, he was sentenced to drink poison, Sayak, in the third literary purge, Sawa, of 1519. 